Welcome to this course become Android developer in seven days. So first we'll see why to learn Android or why to take this course. First reason will be it is an open source code. That means you can make whatever you want. The best part of Android is it is an a lot of manufacturers like Samsung, STC and SS have got the access to the code. So it makes really easy for them to use in, in their smartphones. So secondly would be Google Play Store, the huge app market. So there was a time when we all looked up the iTunes store from the Apple and sometimes getting an iPhone was nearly impossible. But with Google Play Store and Android smartphones access to the app has become so easy for all. Third will be the blooming job prospects. That is as Android provides interesting revenue model, a lot of organizations have dedicated team for the application development with a hiring catching pace. So the unique advantage of a learning application development is that the learners can choose to work or a freelance. So once the person masters developing app through Android, it becomes easy to develop app for any other operating system. So, so first we'll see how much each field pays you off. So, application developer that is a Java developer or a Swift developer tops the stat. So, there is a huge career option after completing this course. So, first we'll see how to learn Java, how to work with the XML and we'll install our IDE that is Android Studio and we'll start coding and test and learn our app. So first we'll go with the basics of a Java that is set up in the environment for the Java variable concepts and learning about the typecasting and the priorities of operation, increment, decrement operator, conditional logic, looping and functions and they are all the basics of Java in the first section. In the day two we'll be learning about the object oriented programming that means all the important feature of object oriented programming that will be inheritance encapsulation interface and so on and similarly we'll go with the advanced java a lot of topic is to be covered in the advanced java that is the threading and the collection in the threading we'll see multi-threading which is important aspect in the android programming and we'll see about the collections Similarly, we'll go with the Android programming basics in our third section that is working with the layout, XML, fragment and intent. And we'll see about the Android advanced programming that will be the list view, broadcasting, threading, runnable and handler which is a services and notification services. Similarly, we'll make a project that is very interesting project after the completion of the lectures and that is simple calculator first and we'll build our complete tic-tac-toy game. So enroll now and see you there. Welcome to this course become Android developer in seven days. So first we'll see why to learn Android or why to take this course. First reason will be it is an open source code. That means you can make whatever you want. The best part of Android is it is an a lot of manufacturers like Samsung, STC and SS have got the access to the code. So it makes really easy for them to use in, in their smartphones. So secondly would be Google Play Store, the huge app market. So there was a time when we all looked up the iTunes store from the Apple and sometimes getting an iPhone was nearly impossible. But with Google Play Store and Android smartphones access to the app has become so easy for all. Third will be the blooming job prospects. That is as Android provides interesting revenue model, a lot of organizations have dedicated team for the application development with a hiring catching pace. So the unique advantage of a learning application development is that the learners can choose to work or a freelance so once the person masters developing app through android it becomes easy to develop app for any other operating system so so first we'll see how much each field pays you off so application developer that is a java developer or a swift developer tops the stat so there is a huge career option after completing this course so first we'll see how to learn java how to work with the XML and we'll install our IDE that is Android Studio and we'll start coding and test and learn our app. So first we'll go with the basics of a Java that is set up in the environment for the Java variable concepts and learning about the typecasting and the priorities of operation, increment, decrement operator, conditional logic, looping and functions and they are all the basics of Java in the first section. 
in the day two we'll be learning about the object oriented programming that means all the important feature of object oriented programming that will be inheritance encapsulation interface and so on and similarly we'll go with the advanced java a lot of topic is to be covered in the advanced java that is the threading and the collection in the threading we'll see multi-threading which is important aspect in the android programming and we'll see about the collections Similarly, we'll go with the Android programming basics in our third section that is working with the layout, XML, fragment and intent. And we'll see about the Android advanced programming that will be the list view, broadcasting, threading, runnable and handler which is a services and notification services. Similarly, we'll make a project that is very interesting project after the completion of the lectures and that is simple calculator first and we'll build our complete tic-tac-toy game. So, enroll now and see you there. Welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we will be installing all of the necessary things that we need before doing actual coding. So, firstly, just open your favorite browser and get this website that is oracle.com tech network java or you can just search for the JDK download in the this Google bar just search for the JDK download and open the first link and you should get uh, this link this is basically oracle link so what we need here is basically a JDK and a NetBeans so firstly just click here that is a JDK link and just click this download here and you should get something like this and this is the basically java jdk development kit so firstly there you have to accept this license agreement so just click for this accept license now you can download this jdk and you can get all the platform for the jdk that is for if you have a mac os just click here if you have a window just click here and if you have a linux you can just click here and zip it and when it is clear it is just a simple inter installation process you can just click the license agreement and your installation can be performed easily and you can have your jdk in your machine so if uh, to check whether the jdk has been installed properly or not just open your command prompt or uh, terminal if you are in linux in a mac and just type for java and if you see something like this result so that you are done with this java that is jdk but if you get any errors something like java is not defined or external internal error then you have to set up the path now first so just to go to your installation directory that is must be in the program files and in this java and just click this java and go to this jdk not jre it is jdk and just click jdk and it must be the bin here and just click this bin all the folder just click is the right click it here and just copy this path so just copy this path and search for the pc here and this pc in this pc just click this properties that is the properties of PC go to this advanced system setting and you should have something that is environmental variable here and in this environmental variable just click here a path here and in this path you should have something that is a edit button here just click this edit button and you have to just paste this the path that we have copied previously just here just put this semicolon here at last in this path and just put your path now paste your path this is the C program file Java JDK this path and just give the semicolon at the end and this is you can just click OK and you are good to go just OK here OK now you can search again for this or the in the command prompt Java and just click here and it should show something result like this and if you get any error just feel free to message me and we'll rectify it together and you are done with the JDK now we need something that is ID where we will write our Java code and I will suggest you to get the NetBeans so working with the NetBeans will make life easier now you know it is something that is a NetBeans so over to your this browsers and just it is NetBeans and NetBeans download so just click this NetBeans download and you should get something that is a NetBeans ID download it is NetBeans.org slash download and make sure you click all of this here you can see here it is supported PHP will be working with this that is cascaded type that is PHP it is working with this all of these are important and just click this download button here any of the download button depending on your platform that is either the 64 or 32 bit and it's just a simple installation process just you need to click on the license agreement like you do mostly with other app and you should get your app that is a netbin now so just click here netbin search on your favorite that is a search bar basically and 
at the first time it will take some time to load the your netbeans after loading is completed if you get something like this this is the start page you are good to go for next section so in the next section we'll do something that is about the basics of the java and we'll cover each and every topics of the java in the later sections and you can just take a tour of this netbeans try a sample project you can just take a tour around this to see what's the new what is the contents are new and this is all for now so see you in the next lecture now we'll start with installing Android Studio on your beautiful machine. So open your favorite browser and go to the Google and search for Android Studio download. You should get something website that is saying download Android Studio and SDK tools. So on clicking this, you should get something like this page and here is all about the download, features, user guide and preview. Just click in download here and you should get this download android studio for windows but if you are in linux or a mac go to over this download options and you should go down and see this mac file of our android studio and similarly the linux that is you have to unzip it and just you are good to go with your android studio now you can download your android studio i'm on windows so i click on this android studio you have to just agree this license and you can download it now you can see here download android studio for android and you can just click here it is a just a simple installation process like any other app and on the installing your android studio and just search in the windows that is android studio and on clicking this android studio you should get something like this so it would be empty here for you because there was no project if you are a new buy so you can create here or start a new project now if you get to this point then you are good to go with the android so see you in the next lecture welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to take a tour about the android studio so open your android studio and you should get something like this so here just start a new android project and open an existing android project and because we are not creating any new we'll go simply with the start a new android project and it will load its local repository and it will get you windows like this so give it a name that is a project name so the naming convention you see here naming convention so just give a project name that is demo project and this is your package so you can see here is a com dot example dot your username and the name of the application so this will be the project package name and it is the project location where your project will be stored so in my case it is in search in document and you can just click here on next and you can see this is a quite important because it is a minimum sdk that means if you choose here marshmallow that is api 23 level then it will be approximately running on the 15.3 devices so if you choose here uh, that is a later version or a later version let me see it is a nougat then it will say it is running less than one person so make sure you stick to this some of here lollipop to marshmallow so marshmallow would be good and it will be running up to 15.3 of your devices and make sure you click this phone and tablet and not in, in it that is not we are not making for the tv or for any watches so just make a for phone and a tablet and hit next and this is important so this is an activity activity that is any screen in the phone is always called the activity in the android studio that means if you want this basic activity it will be having this floating button if you want this bottom navigation that means you have a navigation that is bar in the down bottom or a bottom navigation so we'll stick to this empty activity that means nothing is there in the screen you can also have this login activity but i will stick to this empty activity for now so click next and you can also have this add no activity that means there will be no activity but i'll say this is an empty activity so i'll click next and give the activity name for this empty activity that is main activity just leave it a main activity and this is a layout and i'll talk about the layout in a minute so just click here now finish that is this main empty activity is named as a main activity and just click finish and android studio will take a time to load 
and let it give a time to load should get something like this and we have already seen there was already a activity when creating a project so that was called as a main activity now you can see inside this java folder now just click java and there should be your packages that is com dot example dot your name dot project name and in going inside there should be an activity that is a main activity and similarly there is a resource folder and whenever you want to use any images that should be in this drawable folder and there should be the layout layout means the screen so this when you print this app now or when you run this app on your emulator so first let me say about some emulator so when you click this here run and the run app so emulator means just installing your app or a test app on your these devices which is a virtual devices in this android studio so in order to install any devices you can just create a new virtual devices and just click in here and you can go in this phone category and just click on anyone here any devices here you can also click here nexus 6p and i want to suggest you you either stick to this nexus 5x or nexus 6 so i want to click here nexus 5x and just click here in the next and you can just open your internet here and you can see the releases now you can see something that is a no got here and it is loading it is refreshing but i want you to, to take the api's level that is greater than 20 or 21 so let me just stick to no got here that is an api api level 25 and just click next and just to give the name for the virtual devices and this landscape you can set the orientation and just give a default orientation that is a portrait version and just click finish and make sure you have a internet connection and you are good to go and your avd will be installed that means virtual device and on installing there will be something this like a devices listed here with your name of a virtual device and uh, if you want to run uh, this app just to click here uh, run and just click the virtual device and click ok and it will take care of all of your essential installation and it will automatically install your app on the AVD. so let me see here uh, activity main this is the basic screen saying you hello world so on printing this or on running this app so you can see a hello world just remember one thing that every layout here activity main dot xml is associated with its own java file that means when i create a new layout file just left click here and just cancel it just left click here and just go to the new and layout resource file and just give the name for the layout let me say it is a second demo and We'll be learning about the linear and relative layout in our lectures in the later lectures but for now stick to this linear layout and click ok and you will see a new layout here that is in the same packages that must be the linear layout and you go here in a text this is our xml and this is our design so design means you can just drag and drop from here you can see the widgets here that is having a button text view toggle view now if i want to take a button just grab it and just drop it in your layout so you can see your button so this is our button and if you see here in a text and these are the property to your button that means in order to use the id property you have to give this android and this colon an id so id is very important in order to work or reference this button in the main activity so in order you want to use this button you have to use with this id in this main activity so similarly you have layout width for the width property and height for height property and text so this xml is same as a html tags but here you have to define your own tag so in the html you have a defined tag that is a predefined tag you have a predefined input field or you have a something that is html and they are all about the predefined attributes and the tags but in this case of button you can have a uh, can be user defined not a predefined so 
this is very important of XML that the it provides you a flexible way to make your UI of your app so firstly we'll go this activity main so this is your screen now when you remove this hello world uh, in this second demo you go in the design and you can see your button and this is linear layout so we'll see about the layout in the next or the in the fourth section of our course and you can see here all about the palette and the layout that is you can have all about this object that is can be here image view you can have a video view you can have a wave view and this all are the objects so if you see here in the manifest this is the manifest file and this is the name that you can see here your app name so this is your app name when you go in this string in the values and you can click on this values first and go on to this string now you can see their app name is demo project and you can just give any name so let me say it education education so this is your now new name or updated name and you can have the android that is icon for your app and this is the icon which is a random icon so you can also change this icon going into this map map so this is for the location so at the rate is for the location where is your file so that means it is in map map so go in this map map folder and in inside this ic launcher so you should see something that is ic launcher round now so this is your icon so this is the way to reference the folder that is with the add the rate and you can see this style and you can see here a main activity this is important so whenever you open your app you are going to start with the main activity that means if you see here a intent filter if you put this intent filter in the main activity that means your app is going to start with the main activity so whenever you write here in the code will be run as soon as you open your first app that means activity main is going to show so every layout file should be attached with this java file and every layout this is a layout file and this layout file has the activity main now in order to work with this second demo that you recently created you have to create a new java file in order to work with this so i have to just go to here a new and click on this java file and let me say this is for the second that is second demo so i'll say it is for the second and this is the convention that is a naming convention giving for the class that is a camel case convention that is yes and this d is capital and just click here ok now and you can see this is the our created class now on clicking this main activity you can now just all create that is get this all of the code in this second demo let me say it is extending that means it is an inheritance we'll see about the inheritance in the next lecture so it is activity so let me say it is extending activity and we are saying here is an inheritance that means our app this second demo that is referencing to this layout will be extending from the activity now we can use our classes that is from this activity so now I will say this alter and insert just press the alter and insert and you will see something that is a override method here and on clicking this override now you should go to this on create method this on create that is a void methods here just click it and it should override your method so this is the method that is going to be called when the second demo is called that means now now put this super on create here and let me make a space and just in this main activity you have something that is set content view so just copy it and put it in this set content view below this super and it should be now layout that is a second demo now look, as we are referencing to this uh, demo second demo class that is second demo dot xml so this main activity was for this activity main so we set content that is r dot layout to activity main but this second demo is of this second class so now in the second class we will reference this layout to second that is demo so now we have layout that is second demo class that is second demo so this is the way and this on create is a override method of this activity that means 
we have overrided the method that is on create method of this activity so on just uh, click here uh, and control and enter and you can see this uh, decompiled class that is activity dot class so we are using this on create method of this activity dot class and overriding that method with his our own that is set content view with the layout that we want to set similarly you can uh, see first uh, before running your project go to this project structure and you should get something window like this and it is the android sdk location so make sure you have this uh, location and similarly the jdk and use the embedded jdk that is we have already installed while installing this netbeans so make sure this is the correct path of the jdk and make sure this you have this android sdk location which is this location inside this app data make sure that is correct sdk location and now you are good to go with the courses so 